up everybody welcome back to my channel today i have my yellow shirt on because we're going to be working on the yellow sim from my rainbow sims challenge series so if you want to see the new sim along with her tiny house then just keep watching Okay, so I decided to name the yellow sim Yana because I literally have no idea what names start with the letter Y, so when I googled it, this popped up and I thought it sounded cute. So for her everyday makeup look, I gave her some yellow eyeliner, lashes, and yellow eyes. I had so many fun blonde hairstyles to pick from, but I decided to go with a bun. Then for her outfit, I picked out a cropped mustard sweatshirt, and then I found these jeans which were really cute and they had like little yellow patches on them. And then I just paired them with some yellow converses. I feel like I don't have that many dresses in my game, so for her formal outfit, I just found this yellow lacy dress and I paired it with some yellowish shoes and a necklace. Then for makeup, I just gave her a dark yellow smoky eye and some lashes. For her sporty outfit, I decided to go for the whole Adidas theme, so I gave her some of those shorts, a cute little Adidas yellow smiley face t-shirt, then I gave her some yellow converses, a black hat, and a watch. I feel like her sleepwear outfit was pretty easy to do. I just gave her a yellow sweatshirt with some yellow checkered PJ pants and some bunny slippers. Next is her party look and I was gonna pick one of these cute little dresses that had the denim jacket on it. And now that I'm looking at it again, I kind of wish I picked that instead of what I ended up picking. But currently she is wearing a little yellow dress with some yellow sandals and a choker. As I was looking through the bathing suits for swimwear, I didn't know that I had like this cute yellow cover-up looking thing, so I ended up giving her that with some yellow flip-flops. Next is her warm weather outfit, and for this one, I gave her a pastel striped cropped t-shirt with my favorite denim shorts and some yellow converses. Then for makeup, I just kept it simple and gave her some lashes. The last outfit is for cold weather, and I tried putting on the snowsuit, but it kind of just looked like a giant highlighter, so I gave her the yellow coat instead with some yellow boots and gloves. So for this tiny house build, I wanted it to be different than the previous two houses that I built, so instead of a two-story home, it's more of a one-story home with a second level for an outdoor area. The dimensions of this home was 6x10 for the larger rectangular piece that I started with on the left, and then the smaller section that I added on the right was 4x6. I decided to give this house a pastel yellow vertical siding, then I added lots of windows and some stairs so that you can get up to the outdoor area. On the inside of the house, I added a 2x4 box so that way we would have a spot for a bathroom. Then I added some pastel yellow paint to all of the walls and some light hardwood flooring. This time for the kitchen, I decided to go for this weird kind of L-shaped space with the cabinets and then I also added a little bar with some bar stools. For the living room, I started with a round rug, then I added a TV and a yellow couch. 
Then for some reason, all of the coffee tables I have are like really big, so I kind of just shrunk this one down a little bit. Then I just added this cute dresser looking piece of furniture under the TV and a bunch of other decorations. For the entryway, I found a poster that has some yellow tones on it that I just added to the wall. Then I just added a cute narrow carpet and a cactus. In my opinion, this bathroom kind of looks a little bit ugly. Like I have the yellow shower and the yellow sink and a yellow toilet, but just like the style of each of these items, just I feel like it didn't really match the rest of this house, but I tried. For the bedroom, I added a really cute dresser to one end of the room and I added a bunch of records and a record player. Then I added a large mirror, a bed, and some nice sands, and as you can see, I ended up changing the bed to something that I just liked better because the one that I picked first kind of just looked kind of like, like too retro, like it was too retro style for what I was going for. So I ended up picking this bed, which in my opinion looks a lot better than the other one. Then I added some clouds on the wall and I made that back wall a darker yellow so that it would stand out. And then I just added a few more decorations around the room. Now for this upstairs outdoor area, I wanted it to feel like kind of like an overgrown garden, just like I wanted a lot of plants. So I pretty much just added a ton of plants up here and I also added a table so people can come up and eat. I added another plant to the center of the table and then the last thing I did was add some fairy lights across the top. So that's pretty much it for this episode. I'm gonna leave you guys with some pretty shots of the finished build. But if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!